Good evening. It's Good News Friday. I love it when the lefties don't get what they want. When they expect something and something else happens. This makes me happy. This is such a story. This is about Hungary and Sweden. Many of you know about this. Uh, the social minister in Sweden, Annika Strandell, attacked the Hungarian government and compared them to Hitler Germany in a tweet some time ago. The Hungarian government got very pissed off about this, of course. And I think this social minister thought this was a clever idea. <laughs> and she expected some uh, good reactions. Maybe, I don't know. The thing is, the Hungarian government wants more Hungarian children, which is brilliant. Then she did this comparison. It didn't work out for her. I was watching uh, the news this morning here in Sweden, and there was this panel discussion, just an example of, of uh, the reaction she's getting. And this is a panel consisting of three people. And they would normally attack Orban and Hungary any time, any day of the week. That's their job. They attack Hungary, Orban, Salvini, Trump, of course. That's what they do. But uh, this time, they couldn't. It was nice to see this. And um, so they didn't like what she did. And one of them said, you know, she was so tired of people bringing up the 30s all the time. When they don't like something, they talk about the 30s, you know, which is true. It was really good. Now, the European Parliament. Uh, the biggest party in the European Parliament is EPP. This is headed by Jean-Claude Juncker. Now, in the same party, we have Orban's party, Fidesz, which is weird, I think. I don't understand why he still remains in the EPP, but he is still there. You can just imagine this. Orban and Junka in the same party. But that's how it is. And now Jean-Claude Juncker, he doesn't want... Orban in the party anymore. He wants to kick this Fidesz party out. <laughs> yeah, well this is very good. Maybe this was what Orban planned anyway, I don't know. But then now he can join Salvini and the others. You know, that would be better, I think. Right. Now Italy. You remember this story? Salvini stopped a ship in, is, uh, in Sicily, from coming into Sicily. This was in August. And there were about 150 passengers on the ship. Most of them were from Eritrea. And they were stopped and they were st stranded, I think that's the word, at sea for five days. And the EU was discussing what to do. And finally, the, uh, the Catholic Church and Ireland and Albania offered to take these invaders. So that's what happened. But then there were some Italian prosecutors who decided to prosecute Salvini, yeah, accusing him of kidnapping. Now we have uh, a good we have some good news on this. An Italian parliamentary committee has voted to block a criminal case, this criminal case against Matteo Salvini. Yeah, they block it. 16 senators from the committee voted to defend Salvini's parliamentary immunity while six were against it. It's brilliant. And now I have a story again about Elin Ashon. This is not really good news, it's just peculiar, you might say. All right, Elin Ashon, she got on the plane and stopped a deportation. She refused to sit down. 
and stop this Afghani criminal from being deported. And then she was sentenced. I talked about this. And now she did an interview, Elin Ashon. And she said, she said, she did not know that the man that she rescued had recently served a prison sentence in Sweden. Isn't this very, very strange, I think. You make all these plans, organize the whole thing, get on a plane, make a big fuss, stop people from getting where they want, costing the taxpayers all these money. And you don't know who the guy is that you're rescuing. It's so weird. And now this final point. She said in the, in the interview that she does not regret what she did. No. And it's, she said, I did not do what I did to say that he's a good person. I don't regret it. So, this just proves to us, us all, and many others, I'm sure, that she's a, she's a stupid person. How can you not regret this? It's, in, it's almost impossible, I think. Yeah. So that's why I have to tell you this. And finally, some personal good news. Uh, today is Friday. And uh, on Thursday, next, next week, uh, I will retire. So I just have four more days to work. And uh, I'm moving to this farm with my girlfriend. Not on Thursday, but it's starting on Thursday. This move process, you see. And I will do something else. And I think this is brilliant. It's a bit crazy to tell you the truth. It is. You now I've been working all my life. I've never been sick. Not really. Just working, working, paying taxes, you know. And I managed to make this happen. So I'm very proud of myself. You know, I'm not just I'm not yet 60 years old. So I'm just I just want to brag a little. And I feel good about it. Yeah. So what will I do? Well, I plan to grow stuff you know, and have some geese and chicken and uh, paint and write, things like this. And continue to do the videos, of course. I love doing them. And I love the comments. And thank you very much for all your support and your likes and comments. It's great. So I will continue to do this. And I, I also want to be a brilliant archer. <laughs> yeah. That's my plan. Alright. I wish you a great weekend. Bye.